Food chains and food web. Look at the drawing of an ocean food web. Find and circle each of the food chains listed. Use a different color for each food chain. Fish eggs is eaten by jellyfish and jellyfish is eaten by a sea turtle. Algae is eaten by small fish and small fish is eaten by great white sharks. Plant plankton is eaten by jellyfish. Jellyfishes are eaten by sea turtle and sea turtles are eaten by great white shark. In this question, you have to circle the food chain within this food web. So the food chains with three and you have to make three circles. One of the circles would be fish eggs eaten by jellyfish and a jellyfish eaten by a sea turtle. What do the arrows in the food chains show? The arrows show the direction in which the energy moves from one living thing to another living thing in the food chain. Look at the drawing of an ocean food web in the focus exercise. Identify and draw two other food chains with four links. The two other food chains could be the fish eggs eaten by a jellyfish, which is eaten by a sea turtle and then consumed by a great white shark. Then algae consumed by prawns, which is eaten by sea turtle and then great white shark. Name the producers in the food web. The producers are plant plankton and algae. Identify and name each of the following types of consumers in the food web. Herbivores are small fish. Omnivore is a jellyfish or a prawn. Carnivore is the sea turtle or white shark. What is the source of energy for all food chains and food webs? It's the sun. Predict what would happen to the sea turtles if all the great white sharks were killed. The great white sharks are the predators of the sea turtles. That means if there were no more great white sharks, then the number of sea turtles within the ocean would drastically increase because there's nobody to eat them. However, the numbers of the sea turtles would only increase if there was enough food for them to eat or else they would die out of starvation. The Namib Desert stretches for over 1000 kilometers along the coast of Namibia in southern Africa. Very little rain falls there. Many animals live on the sand dunes of the desert. Ants, beetles and termites eat seeds and bits of grass that wind carries from the coast. Ant lions eat ants, spiders eat termites, and scorpions eat beetles and spiders. Sun spiders eat scorpions and beetles. Lizards eat spiders, termites, beetles, and sun spiders. The sidewinder adder eats lizards. In words, write 10 food chains from the information given in the passage above. One of the food chains should have 6 links. So the food chains could be grass or seeds are eaten by ants and ants are eaten by the ant lion. Grass or seeds eaten by termite and the termite eaten by the spider. You just need to read the passage and write it in the food chain form with the arrows correctly marked. Here are a few more food chains. Draw arrows on the drawing to make a food web from the different food chains you have written. From the food chains that have been written, the 10 ones, you need to draw arrows to form a food web. Here are the arrows drawn.
Explain why a food web is more like what happens in nature than a food chain. Most consumers eat more than one kind of living thing. Producers are usually eaten by many different kinds of omnivores or herbivores. So it's not just one or two. And most of the herbivores are eaten by many number of omnivores or carnivores. In a food chain, you just show the short form. Any one herbivore or any one omnivore eaten by a carnivore. But in a food web, you show all the possible combinations of which all omnivores could eat a particular herbivore or which all carnivores could eat that one herbivore.